Do you want to shoot guns, eh? Well, you're in luck. I'll explain everything you need to know right here, right now. There's two firearm skills, aiming and reloading. I'll go over reloading first because it's simple. The higher your reloading level, the faster you reload, whether that's putting bullets in a revolver or filling up a magazine. Crazy, right? But are there any breakpoints? Not that I can tell. You seem to smoothly gain reloading speed as the skill goes up. Not much per level, yet by the time you've gained a couple, you can really hear the difference when directly comparing reloads. Here's a level zero reload. Here's a level six reload. Here's a level 10 reload. And finally, level 0 versus 10 for comparison's sake. It's a pretty big difference. Now you might be thinking, I'll never find enough ammo to get the level 10 reloading. You're in luck though, because you can raise the skill by unloading and reloading over and over. Not exactly an exciting thing to do, but that's life. Maybe practice as you travel. You can reload while driving a car too. Bit of a reminder, but getting a plus one trait multiplies experience gain, starting at 75% and ending at 125% with plus three in a skill. On to the more interesting skill, aiming. Must look reloading as your aiming skill increases, you get better at everything to do with aiming. Increased range, speed, and critical chance. Unlike reloading, there is a breakpoint at which you become efficient. That's level two. I'll have to go a little deeper in the skill to explain why, so be patient here. There's two primary ways aiming works in Project Zombie. First is your accuracy, which you can see in the outline around a zombie when you aim at. There's no outline, you're out of range. Bright red outline is the worst possible chance to hit, while bright green outline is a high chance to hit. The farther you are from your target, the less accurate you'll be, but some weapons like scope rifles also have a nearby dead zone. The higher your aiming skill, the faster you recover from a red outline after moving. Aiming level also caps your maximum chance to hit as well as chance to miss. Most importantly, higher aiming skill increases your range and not by a small amount. It's a big leap per level depending on the weapon of choice. So when you are at level 0 aiming, you can't even get a bright green outline at maximum range with the M36. Instead, you'll have to walk right up into melee range and have a good hit rate. This is important because the M36 being the quietest weapon makes it one of the best in an emergency for not drawing a whole town onto you, but it's basically useless at this level. You gain aiming experience based off the damage you do, so while the misses and lack of one shots makes it a terrible weapon to level with. It's a little better at level 1, especially with the range increase, but hit rate at max range is still low. Once you're at level 2 though, you can start popping heads 40 feet out. No longer do you have the accuracy cap making you look like a loser. It's time to turn into a badass with the M36. It only gets better from there. How do I efficiently hit level 2 you ask? The answer is shotguns. Since experience is based off damage style and shotguns can hit 4 zombies at once, there's not much competition when it comes to power leveling. Specifically, you'll want a sawed off shotgun because they do slightly more damage, but they are also much louder which will draw in even more zombies. Now into the technique. Sure you can run around blasting zombies like a madman, but one mistake and it's all over. What you want to do is get yourself a car, wind that driver's side window down and go on a massacre. Just by being inside a car, you gain full 360 degree vision, which is a lifesaver when it comes to sneaky zombies. Then you get the protection from all directions aside from said open driver's side window. If one zombie gets up close, you can knock it away. The main advantage is that you can full blows your way out of a tight spot, and worse comes at worse, wind that window up to give yourself a couple extra seconds. The guide is open sober, so I'll sneak one more tip in. Let your shotgun training sessions be around the edge of a town. Then once you've run out of ammo, you can torch a lot of zombies in an open field without setting the whole place on fire. Even if you don't do that, the town will be temporarily emptied of the swarm and makes for easy looting. Anyways, I'm out of here and good luck with your shooting.